Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Today we are going to talk about feral dogs which are creating a menace in Ladakh. So what is this whole issue? We'll discuss in detail. This is our channel Study IQ. If you're preparing for government exam, our pen drive and tablet courses are also available. If you're preparing for UPSC CSE 2020, our pen drive course is available where you can find 100% coverage of UPSC syllabus. Now you can buy this course at mere rupees 625 per month only. Study IQ has launched its own application Pocket News. The link of this application you can find in the comment box. You can follow me for my video updates on Facebook and Instagram because I feel together we can make a difference. So let's start the discussion. Now see. In what context we are talking about today's lecture, in Ladakh, Snow Leopard has a new foe, which is feral dogs. I will explain you the meaning of feral dogs also and about snow leopards also. See, tourism has increased in Ladakh and the garbage it brings has allowed the dogs to feed upon it. And they are multiplying rapidly in Ladakh which is now threatening the light, light, uh, wildlife existing in Ladakh, be it snow leopards or other animals and even the livestock. Now, this snow leopard, which had earlier threats from poaching and hunting, now it is founding itself against a pack of unlikely contenders, which are feral dogs. See, this dog menace is rising an alarm also. Impact of dog predation may be more severe than those of wild predators. It can significantly disrupt an ecosystem. So, it is like man's best friend may not be wildlife's best friend also. Now, we will talk about snow leopard first. See, this snow leopard, its scientific name is Panthera onchia. It is also known as ounce and it is a large cat. It is mostly found in Central and South Asia. What is important for you here is its IUCN status it is vulnerable on the iucn red list because its global population is estimated to be less than 10,000 mature individuals and in india it is very less so if we talk about potential snow leopard habitat in india as himalayas and it is found in many states also like j and k uttarakhand himachal pradesh sikkim arunachal pradesh so in india there are around 200 to 600 snow leopards individuals which are living across about 25 protected areas so now here we are talking that they have a new threat which is from the feral dogs so here you should know that india has the highest population of domestic dogs in the world in 2014 it has been estimated that there are around 59 million dogs and in the course of our work we found dogs have attacked at least 84 different species be it from birds reptiles and mammals and they have also not spared carnivores big carnivores such as fox have been attacked by these feral dogs jackals wolves so globally 188 threatened species are affected by the free ranging and domestic dog so now let's talk about these feral dogs so basically this term feral it can be used to describe those animals that have been through the process of domestication that it could be that once they were domesticated but now they have returned back to the wild state they have been disowned or there could be any other reason now there are different categories of dogs there are owned dogs so owned dogs are the family dogs they have an identifiable owner and are commonly socialized then comes your free-ranging owned dogs. So these free-ranging dog is a dog that is not confined to a yard or house. So free-ranging owned dogs are cared by one owner. There could be one owner or the owner could be a community of workers also. So this basically includes your village dogs, right? Then comes your free-ranging unowned dogs. So this is important category because your feral dogs comes under this category now free ranging unknown dogs are the stray dog the street dog they get their food and shelter from human environments but they have not been socialized and so they avoid humans as much as possible now talking about feral dogs the term feral as i told you it could be that once they were domesticated then they have returned to the wild state Feral dogs basically differ from other dogs because they have not had close human contact early in their life, socializations they did not experience earlier. So these feral dogs are those dogs living 
in a wild state with no food and shelter intentionally provided by humans and they show a continuous and strong avoidance of direct human contact so this is very the main characteristics of the feral dogs that they don't like the human company much so now what are the observations in ladakh so now see from where this story started already it has been reported by the locals that they have seen snow leopard being chased uh, chased by the feral dogs and other livestock being attacked by dogs even in the last year rajasthan we had many cases where chinkaras were killed by the dogs so here one conservationist narendra patel he expected to capture when he set out his uh, with his camera one morning in ladakh to track a particular snow leopard that had just been radio collared in ladakh we have many around 5 snow leopards which are radio collared for the tourism so he was driven by curiosity to see the animal but what he saw was totally unexpected the dogs were many nearly half a dozen they were furiously barking at the cat so this cat is your big cat snow leopard and even these canines so canines are referred for the dogs were vying for a cattle kill the leopard had made the previous day so now this is a common scenario in ladakh where snow leopard is running and it is the dogs which are chasing the snow leopards even we have seen many photographs uh, where pack of dogs are chasing other livestock in ladakh also and for snow leopards the biggest threats are no longer hunting and uh, retaliatory killing it is the feral dog so in ladakh it has been estimated that no less than 3000 dogs exist in the changthang wildlife sanctuary in leh district and you wouldn't think that dogs would thrive and multiply as they are doing in this rough rugged terrain now here the main question is what is the reason of the increased population of the dogs now see they are thriving in this such rugged terrain so the main reason here is the unregulated tourism and massive waste generation also so number 1 being the tourism and number 2 being the waste generation because this attract these dogs for the food so this waste generation more than the region can cope with has actually contributed to the explosion of the population of the feral dogs and this population is triggering fear among the wildlife also now these free ranging dogs were responsible for more livestock kills than snow leopards or wolves and there's another study which found that across the country pack of these dogs have attacked or killed as many as 80 species of wildlife and these dogs can also transmit diseases and trigger fear mediated behavioral changes in the wildlife also so we can so th- on the whole it is disrupting the ecosystem also see earlier snow leopard was also a danger a threat for the local population because of lately i have also discussed in many lectures the man animal conflict now here what we are saying dog and snow leopard or wildlife conflict see the local people are very tolerant to this uh, this animal snow leopard even in cases of cattle kills so this is in part because jammu and kashmir wildlife protection department has actually roped them into wildlife tourism initiatives and helped create the homestays and have become popular with tourists so perceptions of the snow leopard have been gradually changing in ladakh so it is now seen less as a source of conflict and more as a revenue earner through the tourism so if snow leopard is having any kind of threat that means there is indirect threat to the local population to their economy also and as i told you wildlife department has radio collared five snow leopards so now this snow leopard has a threat from feral dogs now see what is the way forward here you can suggest me in the comment box also so see ladakh has an advantage also because in winters no tourists visit there so for the garbage problem it it will become very easier because you just have to maintain the waste generation and garbage for one season that is the summer season because in winters there's nobody and another way forward could be that wildlife departments should be authorized to remove the dogs from habitats by suitable means because and last suggestion i would say that their entry these free ranging dogs entry should be restricted to the wildlife sanctuaries otherwise they will be of more harm much harm to the wildlife especially the threatened species like snow leopard and the removal of unowned stray and semi feral dogs because otherwise what we do in the end when the problem increases we try to kill the mass killing of the animals so that is very disheartening so rather 
at the start we should try to restrict the entry and control the population of these animals so even in the comment box you can suggest me the way forward so this is about today's lecture if you have any queries you can contact me on instagram facebook thank you